the breathtaking countryside of Campania, southern Italy, is not the first thing that comes to mind when you think of the blood and thunder of non-league football. But for England C, the country's elite at non-league level, it was the venue for the final, decisive group match of the International Challenge Trophy. While a draw here would be good enough to reach the tournament's final, England left no stone unturned in their preparation. For these young players, it was the chance to represent their country to lock horns with major European opposition on foreign soil. For manager Paul Fairclough and his side, a suitable stage to showcase perhaps yet unseen potential. Up you get, and you go again. It's taken years in the making, you know, and we're up to eight teams now, and we're hoping to grow it to 16 teams next season. And uh, so it's a really prestigious trophy, certainly since the, this team has been going. This game uh, is significant for a lot of the players here today because, you know, it is a shop window for them. There's no question about that. To come out in a highly competitive game uh, against Italy on their soil uh, is going to be a tremendous experience. It, it's going to be a rich experience for the players and, uh, and, and for the clubs that, who they represent. An admirer of Arsene Wenger's from his time as scout at Arsenal, Fairclough puts great emphasis on the man management of his players in unfamiliar surroundings with unfamiliar teammates. One man who knows exactly what it's like to travel away with England is Paul Parker, back at the Stadio San Paolo, the scene of England's World Cup win over Cameroon in Italia 90. When you're stuck with people for such a length of time, you know, you have to grow together because with England, all you all you got really, the only time you see any real fresh air is when you come and train. Other than yeah. that, you are stuck, in, hotel room, stuck yeah. in a hotel room. You know you're there to win a game of football and you get on with it. The three lines on their chest is, 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 pri is real pride enough, but we want them to be really bonded, really close and feel really together. And, and there'll be lots of moments where we'll be asking the players to you know, just do something different that they're not perhaps used to and uh, just to give them that little bit more confidence to, to come out and, and, and shine on this uh, arena on, on Wednesday. By sharing their innermost thoughts and feelings, the players are encouraged to step out of their comfort zones. Take them right back to the place, the time, the moment. Confidence and expression form the basis of Fairclough's team ethos. It's all about being confident in us as a group of players, so I think that's why it'd be a great addition to the squad, because of the confidence that he brings. Wow. Do we want that? Yeah. 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 A lot of the lads don't even know each other when they come here, so to do that, I mean, to get the boys to stand up in front of each other, introduce themselves, tell them about their family and where they come from, it just makes it feel a little bit more like a team environment in the short time you have. It's definitely a Paul Fairclough thing and you know he, he's great with that. It really gets the players close together, close and tight knitted. On the eve of the game, finishing touches were made to physical preparations, but after three days away, a kickoff couldn't come soon enough. You know, the staff have drilled it into us. This is like a cup final um, and we're all looking forward to it. You know, Italy are a big nation and um, a big side and we've heard their, you know, about their presence and that. But, you know, we're all looking forward to it. We've got experience in there, we've got box-to-box -box men, uh, we've got pace, we've got power in there, uh, and, and it's an exciting lineup. We're not scared of no one, so uh, you know, we'll match up to them. We're going out with the intention to win the game and win it well. Uh, with everything that's good about English football, you know, we're going to be bold, we're going to be bright, we're going to be assertive. Uh, and, and try and win the game as opposed to just sitting and, and, and bringing in a result. Join us next time for part two of England Sea's Italian adventure. Hey! Could they overcome home favourites Italy and progress to the final? You got enough run up, son? That'll do you. There's always going to be drama in this game and it ain't over yet.